protein RNA networks regulated by normal and ALS-associated mutant HNRNP A2B1 in the nervous system. A neuron production. From the moment it's made, the RNA in our cells is covered in proteins. There are thousands of RNA binding proteins, and for the most part, we have no idea what they really do. This is a problem because mutations in RNA binding proteins can cause serious diseases. We picked a protein called HNRNP A2B1 and tried to figure out how it works. Then we used what we learned to better understand a disease that affects thousands of people every year. To understand why RNA is important, let's look at something scientists call the central dogma. Every cell in every organism essentially works the same way. It all starts with a DNA blueprint that is transcribed into messenger RNA. The messenger RNA is translated into proteins, and the proteins are the workhorses that keep our cells and our bodies functioning. Our cells can't make protein without first making RNA. Let's look more closely at the RNA so we can see some RNA binding proteins in action. First, messenger RNA is transcribed by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. New pieces of mRNA contain spacer regions called introns that don't code for any protein. These get cut out and the RNA gets stitched back together by something called the spliceosome. Eventually, the new piece of RNA needs to be cut off to complete transcription. Most RNA has several different places where this could happen. We found that HNRNP A2B1 is especially important for determining where a given piece of RNA will end. Next, the newly finished messenger RNA can be translated into protein by the ribosome. Finally, old pieces of RNA are destroyed in a controlled way. Every step of this process is mediated by RNA binding proteins, and if anything goes wrong, it can lead to disease. One reason why we study RNA binding proteins is to learn how to treat disease. ALS is a disease where a significant number of the cases are caused by mutations in RNA binding proteins. In 2013, a family was discovered with a mutation in HNRNP A2B1. This is why we chose to study this particular protein. ALS stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It's a neurodegenerative disease affecting up to 30,000 Americans in any given year. Two famous people with ALS are Yankee great Lou Gehrig, for which the disease is named, and the physicist Stephen Hawking. Your central nervous system has two parts, brain and spinal cord. Both are required to move your muscles. During movement, upper motor neurons in the brain send a signal along the spinal cord to lower motor neurons. Lower motor neurons connect directly to the muscle and relay the signal that allows you to move. During ALS, both upper and lower motor neurons degenerate. This leaves patients paralyzed. There are currently no effective treatments. So, how can we study ALS if we need to get motor neurons from the affected patients? Fortunately, there's a way to do this. It's called cellular reprogramming, and it starts with the skin biopsy. The skin cells are grown and infected with viruses carrying four reprogramming factors. The skin cells are reprogrammed into induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs for short. iPSCs can be differentiated into any cell type in the body. By treating them with the correct molecules, we can generate motor neurons from patients with mutations in HNRNP A2B1. Using our iPSC-derived neurons, we made a disease-in-a-dish model. We grew motor neurons from healthy volunteers side-by-side side with neurons from patients with mutations in HNRNP A2B1. With a robotic microscope, we tracked the neurons over a long period of time. We found that cells from affected patients died much faster than cells from healthy volunteers. This indicates that mutations in HNRNP A2B1 are toxic to neurons. Next, we wanted to understand why the ALS motor neurons were dying. One feature of ALS is accumulation of proteins in dense cytoplasmic granules. To study this, we took advantage of the natural stress response that all cells have. When exposed to stress like radiation, heat, or chemicals, 
Cells assemble cytoplasmic granules, called stress granules. We challenged iPSC-derived motor neurons with toxic chemicals to simulate environmental stress. We looked for HNRMP A2B1 in the stress granules. We found that cells from ALS patients, but not healthy volunteers, had HNRP A2B1, depicted in green, in their stress granules. What's going on? We think that mutations in RNA binding proteins make the proteins too sticky. They stick together and form aggregates. We think that this may be toxic to motor neurons. Does any of what we learned help us think about new treatment strategies for ALS? We've thought of two possibilities. The first is to simply get rid of the toxic proteins. This could be done with special DNA-like molecules called antisense oligonucleotides, or ASOs. When ASOs find their target, they cause the RNA to be degraded, halting production of the toxic protein. The second strategy is to target stress granules. This could be done with small molecule drugs that prevent stress granule formation or force granules to come apart. Thanks for watching. For more information, please see our article in this issue of Neuron.